Hi, my name is Tim Martin. For over two decades, I've been Greensboro Day School's Earth Science teacher. Although I spent some of my growing up years in California, other years in Pennsylvania, currently I live outside of Greensboro, North Carolina. Regardless of where I've lived, I've always felt most at home here in the natural world. My curiosity and creativity led to the combined study of natural science and art when I was in college. I was not always a teacher. My first job out of college was working for the nonprofit Habitat for Humanity. I was responsible as a construction manager for volunteer coordination, overseeing subcontractors, and together we built over a hundred homes in our community. In addition to teaching earth science, I teach art. I also maintain a studio where my primary medium is working in clay. I work with the technically demanding process of crystalline glazed porcelain, studying glazed chemistry and physics, as well as combining my love of geology, I grow mineral crystals in liquid glass above 2,000 degrees. Besides working in porcelain, I also helped build, fire, and maintain a wood-fired kiln on our school's campus. As a teacher, I've always looked for different ways to reach my students. In 2007, I completed my master's in teaching geoscience, but I've always looked for other unique professional development experiences. In 2010, I and some colleagues were selected to fly an experiment on NASA's zero-gravity airplane. Working in the microgravity environment as the plane flew out over the Gulf of Mexico was one of the most challenging working environments I've ever experienced. In 2016, I explored the geology of Iceland while circumnavigating the island with a National Geographic Lindblad Expedition Grosvenor Fellowship. Besides formal professional development, I've done a lot of informal professional development as well. Loving the outdoors such as this, I've traveled quite a bit with my family. We visited many of our country's beautiful national parks and visited earth science hotspots that are off the beaten path. On all of these adventures, I return with lots of video and photo to bring back to lessons that are used in my classroom. In 2009, I was selected as a polar trek teacher. I accompanied a scientific research expedition to Lake Elgigikin in the Siberian Arctic. Besides working with the science team, I maintained a blog, kept video and photo journals to share the science with the greater community. After the expedition, I maintained close relationships with the, many of the science team. Together, we developed lessons where students evaluate some of the data from the Arctic lake. Extending the process further, I take students to a pond on our school's campus where we take sediment core samples. We look for proxy weather and climate data from our local environment. These lessons were published in the National Science Teaching Association's primary journal. Through these activities, students develop a much more in-depth perspective of global and local climate change. I have a passion for hands-on activities and using real numeric scientific data. We download data from the National Weather Service to make real-time forecasts. It's always fun when the students ask if they got it right. I tell them, we'll have to come back and see what the weather is doing tomorrow. Yet nothing is as engaging for students as experimenting with the student-built tornado machine. Several years ago, I was presented with the opportunity to teach an art class, which has fundamentally changed my focus and how I approach teaching. As I began to teach art and studied how students learn in a different environment, I came to the realization that I was a better science teacher in my art class than in my science lab. In art, my students were not just encouraged, but required to experiment, try, fail, and try again, and learn from those successes and failures. This is the fundamental process of how both science and art advance. In order to increase more time for exploration, hands-on activities, demonstrations, and genuine inquiry, I began the process of flipping my classroom. Rather than devote classroom and laboratory time to direct instruction, I deliver content via YouTube through the Adventure Earth Science website and my Team Art Science YouTube channel. I invite you to explore these resources. As you can tell, I love being out in the natural world. Frequently on weekends or holidays, you can find me in some of our state parks hiking with my wife or rock climbing with my son or daughter. I look forward to meeting you in the near future, in the classroom or in the studio, on the rock wall or online.